you'll be fine by the time the snows have gone. Do the snows ever leave this kingdom, Millicent? Rowan! I didn't know if you would be coming to Michael's coronation. I heard you had quite an argument with King Arthur and that you had returned home to Bridgeford. I had for a while, but Thalia talked me out of staying there. I've come to apologize to King Arthur. Oh, where is that chilling draft coming from? That window broke the night of King Malcolm's funeral. Selina has yet to make a replacement. Selina? The sage advisor to the ruler of Northland. I suppose you could say she's our Merlin. Selina is the only one in the kingdom who knows how to make glass. But she's been very busy of late. I see. And, uh, how is Prince Michael? He's so busy that he only has time to talk about you from morning till night. You should read this message he sent me. It's quite overwhelming. I know how Michael feels about you. But how do you feel about him? I feel as if I need a sage advisor of my own. Ah, Selina, please come in and meet two very special guests who have come to attend my coronation. A King Arthur of Camelot and... No need for introductions, Prince Michael. Selina and I are well acquainted. We studied together in our youth. Yes, we spent most of our time arguing, and I always won. You never did understand, Selina, that the acquisition of knowledge is not a contest to be won or lost. Merlin, please. Prince Michael's coronation is an opportunity to build harmony between Northland and Camelot. While you eat, Michael, we must discuss the details for the ceremony of the choice. Ah, Northern Stew. It has such distinctive ingredients. Oh, oh. oh how clumsy of me. Yes, indeed. Valiant, what's this? A present from Arn and me, to welcome you back. Oh, how sweet. You and Arn didn't have to. My Camelot tunic. After the battle at Bridgeford, you said you wanted to come back. To my friends, Valiant. To you and Arn. But I am no longer certain that my destiny lies in Camelot. I'm just not sure anymore, Valiant. I'm really not sure. Bosley, bring me my bowl! You drink too much of this, Father. It's this freezing cold that... I warned you to stop Arthur from attending the coronation. Now he's here, strengthening Camelot's position with Michael and all the other rulers of the Northern Realms. And because of his being here, we are now forced to change all of our plans! We shall have to find another way to put you on the throne. I can no longer risk poisoning Michael. Merlin will instantly know it was I who did it. Trust me, Richard. I will find a way to do away with Michael and put you on the throne. Then we shall unify the Northern Realms by leading them into war against a common enemy. And I will see to it they think that enemy is none other than Merlin's love. Before he died, my father told me about your powers, Selina. Powers that I now have need of. In what way, my prince? I am in love with Rowan. You must tell me how to win her as my queen. It seems somehow the stew has made me sleepy. Then rest, my prince. You will need your strength. After all, who knows what the future may hold. Many years ago, I brought Arthur to a gathering of sages much like the one we're attending tonight. And now he has taken his place among the greatest rulers of our time. And someday you shall join their ranks. But for now, for you, there is still much to learn. Much to learn? About what? About everything. It's a clever contraption, I'll grant you. But why would anyone in his right mind want to fly? To travel the world, of course. But surely we have horses and wagons enough for traveling? The usefulness of this device goes beyond mere travel. 
Imagine being able to attach javelins to the wings, and thus having the advantage of attacking your enemy from the air. I did not intend this for war. Have no fear. It will take centuries before mankind finds a way to do what Selina is suggesting. Now, who is next to present a new idea? We want to hear how you and Camelot are proceeding with King Arthur's plan to actually let peasants have a say in government. What a ridiculous notion. But it's one that is working. It cannot work. It goes against the laws of nature. My methods of heating the castle with the steam from these hot springs works because it follows natural laws. But for a ruler to give up power to peasants goes against nature. It can only lead to chaos. Rule by the people is the way of the future. The future belongs to rulers who can take power, not to those who would give it away. You, young prince, are as muddle-headed as your mentor. Why is it, Merlin, that the Mistress Selina seems to hate you so much? It's a dance. Why is no one dancing? No son told me that everyone must wait for Prince Michael to dance first. Tradition holds that whomever the prince chooses as his partner will be the woman he marries. And what do you think of that tradition, Rowan? Oh, oh. Uh, King Arthur has taught us that we must respect the traditions of all the kingdoms to which we travel. In that case, you cannot refuse my request. and Aurora pales next to your own, Rowan. When I am crowned king tomorrow, I will have the power to make your dreams come true. Oh, and how might that be? I can grant you knighthood. I can make you a royal knight of Northland. When you were in Camelot, attaining knighthood, it was one of your fondest dreams, was it not? I feel as if you have looked into my heart and discovered all its secrets. And how will your heart answer me? I want nothing but to make you happy, Rowan. I have loved you from the first moment I saw you. And you care for me too, don't you? Yes, I do, but... It's all right. I don't want to rush you. Perhaps we should wait to discuss this until after my coronation. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. It's time for me to attend the ceremony of the choice. My last rite of passage before I become king. Guinevere and I do not approve of how Roanne spoke to us when she left Camelot, but if she decides to return, we'll do our best to see she never feels so unappreciated again. Let me know how things are after you've spoken with her, Valiant. Yes, Your Majesty. Where did that... <gasps> I thought you were Prince Michael. Why did you want to kill Prince Michael? It's not just me. There's ten of us after him tonight. He'll never survive the ceremony of the choice. <gasps> Come on. I know you're in here. Tell your mistress I've put her on Prince Michael's trail, just like I was supposed to. She'll be able to do him in easy as pie. <laughs> I don't trust Selina. Not after what she said about using my flying craft for war. Be careful what you say. She seems to hear every word that's spoken in this castle.
Quickly, you two. I want to hear what secrets my great powers as a sage have uncovered today. All is ready for the ceremony of the choice, Prince Michael. Beyond those pillars is the Valley of the Kings, where each ruler of Northland is buried. And tonight, Prince Michael must walk alone among their tombs to do honor to their memory and to choose the symbol of his reign. His father, King Malcolm, chose the Northland Bear. We now await Prince Michael's choice. I must see Prince Michael. No, impossible. No one can disturb the ceremony of the choice. But his life is in danger. Begging your pardon, sir, how can it be? He is the only living thing beyond this gate. secret known only to Northland's rulers and their sage advisors. <laughs> My mother led your father through the same tunnel the night before he became. Am I to make the choice of my symbol here? No. That choice has already been made for you. Behold the symbol of your reign. <gasps> no! The other rulers would think I was allying myself with my uncle, that traitor, the Duke of Lionsgate. If for some reason I wasn't able to rule, he would be recognized as my successor. You will choose the lion. Never! There is no way you can ever make me choose it. If I cannot, this can. Stop! Beware, Prince Lion. Even your famed singing sword is no match for my powers. I'm not afraid of you or your so-called powers, Selina. Then you have much to learn. No! Don't kill him! I have a better use for him. I'll brew another extract of this ice fungus. Once I give it to him, Valiant will do anything I ask. Even work with us to bring about the downfall of Camelot. If necessary. Why is it so difficult to decide? I am fond of Michael, and I do want to become a knight. If I turn Michael down and go back to Camelot, who knows if King Arthur will ever see fit to knight me. Cousin Guinevere once told me that she thought the only way someone could become a knight was not to pursue the honor of knighthood, but to follow the path of truth. Roanne! Come quick! Valiant is missing! Come in, Merlin. Stop lurking in the shadows. I understand Prince Michael returned from the Valley of the Kings in ill health. Merely chilled by the cold. I have potions to warm him. And is the purple extract of ice fungus one of those potions? Why not? In the hands of a skilled healer, it is useful for controlling pain. But in less honorable hands, it is a deadly poison. And when mixed with other substances, it can become a drug, clouding people's minds, making them bend too easily to the will of others. Knowledge is like a sword, Merlin. It can be used for good or ill just as you used it to have me banished from our homeland. You are a spy, Selina. Be that as it may, I have made my decisions about knowledge and how best to use it. And I shall fight you to the death on those decisions. Force Valiant to drink this one. <laughs> 
The other is for you. Now go! We've not a moment to lose. Michael! Michael! Valiant has disappeared and we need... Ignore her. Continue to the throne room. Yes, Selena. You'll never reach the throne room before Michael names the lion as his choice. Once he does, Selina will see that he is soon too ill to rule. You, my father, will then ascend to the throne, and the kingdoms of the North will be at war with Camelot in no time. You should have come to me as soon as you knew Valiant was missing. I knew when I saw you next, I would have to apologize for the things I said when I left Camelot. I wanted time to choose the right words. Everyone makes mistakes, Rowan, but... What separates the wise from fools is the willingness to learn from those mistakes. From the size of my mistakes, I would say I have a great deal still to learn, Your Majesty. Valiant's horse has been found! In the Valley of the Kings! I'll ask Prince Michael for extra soldiers. Rowan, you and Arne begin the search in the valley. I'll guide you through the underground tunnels. It's the fastest way to get there. Valiant! Above us! Cross before they drop another. That might not be necessary. Arn! Rowan! Go to the pulleys! Over there! <laughs> go on without me, Valiant. It will be faster. Don't worry about the children. I'll lower them when you leave. Where's Merlin? Just over. Your Majesty. I choose. I choose. I choose. A falcon. Arrest the sage of Northland. The charge is treason. Guards, kill them. They mean to harm King Michael. One more step and you'll feel my power again. Your only power is to prey on the ignorance of others. There. This will act against Selina's poison. A job well done, Valiant. You've not only saved Michael's life, You've possibly saved Camelot. A war with the Northern Kingdom at this time could well have brought us to the brink of disaster. I can't take all the credit, Your Majesty. I couldn't have succeeded without Arne's help. And Rowan's. 
Your Majesty? Oh, Anne. You're dressed for travel. I'm going home, Michael. To Camelot. But what of us? And your dream of knighthood? My destiny doesn't lie here. It lies in helping to bring King Arthur's dream of truth and justice to all the dark corners of this world. But your role in helping keep Arthur's dream alive may not lead you to knighthood. That's true. But for some reason, that doesn't seem to be the most important thing anymore. Fighting for what you believe in is more important than the honor and glory that it may bring. Fighting for what you feel inside, for what is right and true, that's what Camelot is all about. That's what I've come to realize. Rowan, wait. Keep this until... Until our destinies return us to each other. Someday, Merlin, I'm going to ask you how that falcon happened to fly out from the air channel just when it did. Someday, I just might tell you.